the new OP09 Shanks leaders is here. Is red making a comeback or does it still fall short of the other colors? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby and today I'll be giving you my current deck profile for the OP09 red leader Shanks. We're gonna go over every card, talk about the game plan, and then I'll give you the complete deck breakdown. Make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps out this channel as we start to grow. I upload daily duels and deck profiles for One Piece, Dragon Ball Super Fusion World, and Union Arena. Alright, so here we are. This is the this is a personal cook of mine. There's a link in the description if you guys want to see the uh, just, just the list itself, all the text. And please let me know in the comments, what would you change or add to make this deck better with the synergy that we're trying to using, which is, of course, the red-haired pirate. So, let's talk about the leader than all of the cards this is shanks from op09 four emperors red haired pirates five thousand and five life so pretty nice and tanky five five life hero this is a custom proxy that i have printed for the leader if you guys want to learn how to make your own proxies link in the description to a tutorial video where i show you guys how to do that but let's talk about the ability now once per turn you can activate this effect when your opponent attacks Give up to one of your opponent's leader or characters negative 1000 power for the turn. It's a pretty strong ability. It makes it so you don't have to waste any resources, but your opponent essentially does if they want to match anything, you know, 5 to 5, 6 to 6, etc. People have also been speculating because of the way that it's worded. Maybe in the future, and, you know, they thought, they thought, um, with this upcoming set that they would have abilities where your opponents would be forced to attack on you on their turn oh sorry they would be forced to attack on your turn making this go off and maybe some other abilities but maybe in the future something crazy could go off so let's talk about it the first card we're going to talk about is Uda. This is a new card from OP09. This is an alternate art. One, two, one. On play, look at the top five. Reveal up to one red-haired pirate and add it to your hand. Then the rest go to the bottom. This is a film card. So technically, you could add it to the other decks if you want. But you still have to make it, you know, red-haired pirates. But there are red-haired pirates slash film cards. So, hey, that, that might work out. But, yeah, in this deck, it's for searching all of your red haired pirates in this deck it's split between 25 red haired and 25 not so there is a good chance you you could miss with this like 50 percent chance right but there you go so we're running four of these yeah all right time for our first two k's of the deck we're running some otamas from op01 this is a good nice staple for a lot of red cards for a lot of red decks especially because of how cheap it is and the effect you know it's pretty desirable one zero two on play give up to somebody negative two thousand power so un unsearchable but it is part of the play style of this deck so there it is next up it's going to be some more defensive cards in the form of radical beam from op01 one cost counter leader or character gets two thousand power but if you have two or less you get two thousand power of course i say this all the time but sometimes you know people go through this and they they, they don't know but you want to use this only when you have the four thousand it's pretty much going to be a late game there's usually not a very good reason to want to save a character for one cost or save taking a life so early for that ability. And the trigger is, you know, pretty okay. So we're running three of these. Next up, it's another new card from OP09. This is Red Force. This is the stage. So it's two costs, red haired pirate, so it is searchable from Uda. Um, activate main, rest the stage. If your leader has red hair, so only works with the Shanks as of right now. Up to one of your opponent's character loses 1,000 power during this turn. Lots of ways to use this ability. You can lower a cost if they have a blocker that can you know block for free. Maybe you can use it to lower something and to attack into it and make it easier. You can lower it to do some sort of effects, whether or not you have uh, you know a on play effect from a character, or if you add in any events, which I don't have in this particular deck. There are some that came out, but I don't think they were worked out with the deck that I'm doing but this is just a pretty nice stage overall because it just gives you some good some good you know board control some resources so we're running three of these and the only bad thing about this card is once it's in the once it's on the field it's kind of dead uh, but there are some other cards in the deck that you can use to trash and you can use to cycle out one of them is coming up right now actually so this is Baccarat 
from OP07. This is a film card, Grand Tesoro. So this is it. This has nothing to do with Red Hair at all, but I think it works out with the deck. 3-4-1. It has innate blocker. Then when it's on the field, when your opponent attacks once per turn, you can trash up to one card from your hand. This and a you know, obviously this and a bunch of other um, dead cards in your hand. Up to one of your leader characters gains two thousand. So if you have this on the field, it just essentially just becomes every card becomes a 2k which is pretty nice so i love it so i'm only running two of these just for that all right next off we have lime juice this is a new card from op09 it's a 2k 332 this is lime juice red haired pirates on play up to one of your characters with 4,000 or less cannot activate blocker for the rest of the turn very rarely this might go off and your opponent might not be able to use a blocker for you to end the game but for the most part it's going to be just in here for a 2k and of course searchable from red haired pirates here's the next one hongo from op09 332 red haired pirates so searchable too you may rest this character if your leader is red haired pirates give up to one of your opponents negative 2000 power during this turn so you usually don't want to play it the turn that you uh, you put this out if you do choose to put it out because if you think about it negative 2000 for a three you might as well just put three dawn on a character or lead and attack what you're going into you might want to use this for an ability for an on play ability though or an event or you set it up the turn before so you get the value otherwise it's just going to be in here for a 2k and there you go next is a card called lucky rue from op09 Four five one red haired pirates blocker and also when it's KO'd if your leader has red haired pirates KO up to one of your opponent's characters with an original power of 6,000 or less very 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 strong ability such a great card only it's like it's so good that it would kind of be crazy like this would be in every single red deck unfortunately it's only leader lock which is completely fine but it's a really cool card all right next up we have kid and killer this is from EB01450, so it's another dead card. If you don't use it, Supernova slash Kid Pirates has innate rush. When attacking, if your opponent has two or less life cards, he gains 2,000. So, you know, when the thing's good, four to seven, really good, amazing card. It also has slash and special on it. It's just a really good staple red card for a lot of, you know, good rushing and end gaming cards. Next up, we have Yasop. This is another new OP09 card. Five, six, one on play. Your leader gets plus 1,000 power until the end of your opponent's next turn. So I've been testing this card. It's pretty good if you can get it out the turn that you know you actually have five or six done. Other than that, it's kind of hard to put it out there because you really want to play another like seven, eight, nine, ten cast cost stuff. But it do has it does have a counter, and once again, the turn that it comes out, it's pretty okay. I also tested it using in in uh, other decks like uh, Whitebeard, Edward Newgate. It worked out pretty well there. So up to one of your uh, leaders or characters getting to one thousand, as mentioned. Then when one dog is attached, then you attack up to one of your opponent's characters gets negative one thousand. So you know it's it's a pretty okay ability, which is going to be used for a lot of other stuff that you know just for removal. All right, next up, we have Silver's Relay. This is from OP09. It's another really amazing card. Honestly, this could be a top tier red card simply because it gives you draw power. Let's talk about it. 561 Innate Blocker on play. If your opponent has two or more characters with an original power of 5,000 or more, draw two trash ones. So it's a little bit harder to get off the ability. Um, you know other than a queen where you just simply remove a dawn this one your opponent has to have two characters on the field But the effect is amazing draw two trash one red really suffers from a lot of draw power So this helps out quite a bit and it is not leader locked or anything. It can go in anything It's just unfortunately not searchable by nothing at the moment. It's Roger pirates, but run for these really amazing awesome cool new card Next off, we have one of the best cards of the deck, and of course, it's an SR, so Ben Beckman, Red-Haired Pirates, OP0977, and has a counter on play, trash up to an opponent's characters with 6,000 power or less. This affects it to go off a lot, and because you're trashing, that means you're not KOing, so they don't get the KO abilities, etc., and, you know, combo it with, like, your Red Force or any of your other cards. It's going to be very easy to remove things. You want to play this pretty much the turn that you get it out. So freaking powerful. All right. Time for a card that came out in OP08. This is Silver's Relay. 880 this is just more of your late game stuff when played choose up to two of your opponent's characters until the end of their next turn give one negative three 
the other negative two power, then KO somebody that's 3000 power or less. An amazing, great utility card, has a great body, and it just works with your leader's ability as well. So it just makes it harder for them to hit anything and you just, just KO stuff. So it's a really nice card. And then the final card of the deck is going to be this new Shanks card from OP09. 10 12 0 has a permanent ability all of your opponent's characters have negative 1000 power so yeah it's the first thing like that it's pretty amazing and it also has innate rush pretty amazing great card so that is the deck guys and honestly i'm not sure about having only 25 red hair and 25 other stuff uh, let me go ahead and show you the deck breakdown. Once again, links in the description if you want to see all this. This is how I build my decks. So we have uh, 11 zero-cost counters, which is the Shanks, Rayleigh, Kids, and the Red Force. They are dead in your hand. But thank God you have like the Silver's Rayleigh to uh, move things around. You also have the Baccarat to also move things around. So you have a slight amount of like sifting. You have 21 cost counters. You have 10 2k counters. I usually try to go between 10 and 12 always. I think 8 is always a little low. 3 triggers, which is the radical beams, but it is a red, so you know don't really expect that much of it. There's 10 blockers. That's kind of a lot. 2 baccarats, 4 luckies, and 4 relays. Pretty good. You have 8 cards that KO with power levels, which is Silver's Relay and Ben Beckham. And then you have a total of 16 different cards here that lower powers, which is amazing. And then, of course, you have a bunch of rush cards which is shanks and kids so this is a pretty like pretty like on the nose red deck it is a card this is a deck that lowers cost and it has some KOing, and it also has a lot of rushing but what makes it cool is there's a good amount of defense in here you have the radical beams you have 10 2k counters you have 10 blockers pretty awesome and of course the innate ability with the leader and this might make it so your opponent will just have such a hard time getting over anything you guys got. So, this is the current deck that I'm running. All cards up to OP09. And let me know down below what you guys would add or what you would remove. Or let me know if there's any other amazing package you would run with this. Maybe you can make something with the film deck. Wouldn't that be interesting? Alright, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.